Peggy Pickett has been living with ovarian cancer on and off for 10 years, and she says her illness is terminal. She found out after her diagnosis that she carried the BRCA1 gene, which puts women at a higher risk of breast and ovarian cancer. I've had genetic testing now. I could have been proactive. I never developed the disease. Right now, only those with a substantial family history of cancer can get tested for the BRCA1 and 2 genes, according to UBC researchers. But recent modeling done by the researchers found if this testing was offered to the entire population, it could prevent more than 2,000 cases of breast cancer and more than 400 cases of ovarian cancer per million women in Canada. So the current structure of offering genetic testing only to people with a personal or family history of cancer misses about 50% of carriers in a population. Pickett tried to get genetic testing seven years before her diagnosis. She was told she was not eligible for the publicly funded test and she couldn't afford to pay thousands of dollars for private testing. She's hoping the government will make the test available to everyone for free. And it's such a simple, simple thing to get this testing to get the information. Information is power. Dawson says the tests were historically expensive, but recently have gotten much cheaper. And the UBC study found that preventing cancer through free testing can save healthcare dollars in the long run. It's very effective for cost saving in a health system, and that obviously is, is very appealing. Um, we're hopeful that it could be employed. Katrina Remaker discovered at age 34 she had the BRCA2 gene after her dad lost a battle to prostate cancer. If my father had known that he carried the BRCA2 gene, his cancer would have been treated very differently than it was. Um, and, you know, he might be alive today. And after learning about her gene, Remaker got regular screenings and a preventative mastectomy. You know, knowledge is absolutely power when it comes to BRCA. Um, I do not live in any kind of fear about cancer. In fact, I feel extremely well equipped to prevent cancer and to deal with cancer. The study's authors hope to meet with policymakers as they call for routine testing to be made more accessible. BC's health ministry says it is looking at ways to increase cancer screening in the province, including through genetic testing. Michelle Gomez, CBC News, Vancouver.